everybody, it's Dizzy, and I have got a fun, like, swatch fest for you guys today. About two weeks ago, I bought a bunch of Coastal Scents Hot Pots, and since then, I've gotten a lot more. So I wanted to do one big video kind of showing you my entire collection. I have 12 in here, and then this is a large Z palette, and it's completely full. And to answer a question, you guys might have a completely full large Z palette will hold. Twenty seven hot pots. So there you go. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of let you guys in on which ones are worth buying, which ones ended up kind of being dupes for me that they're identical to another one that I bought so I wouldn't get both, um, which ones are amazing, which ones were a little bit of a disappointment in the payoff world. I'm wearing them on, today, on my eyes today and uh, when I get to those I'll tell you which ones they are but I love them. I've been wearing them like crazy. I just think they're amazing quality for the price. So, starting with the ones in here, I've got my more like colorful ones. So the first one I'm going to talk about is Mazarine Blue. And there's a swatch. It's just a nice vivid blue. This one was totally worth it. The next one is Rainstorm. A very dark, vivid blue with a lot of sparkle. The next one is Jewel Teal. And this is just one swipe and no primer. So Jewel Teal is very nice as well. Let me get my wipes ready to go here. Alright, the next row are purple colors. This is Turian Purple. It's a very pretty warm tone, tone, warm tone purple with a lot of like magenta and almost a blue undertone to the sparkle. The next one is a matte and it's called Violetta. So that's Violetta and that is one of the colors I have on my eyes today kind of in the outer corner. And Violetta is not bad, it doesn't have as strong a payoff and I find that with their mattes. Um, the sun's being a little weird because I'm shooting a natural light. This is actually in our movie studio, our, our video, bleh, our video auditory, like we make music out here studio, so it's a different location, but I didn't want the cats to be like in my face when I was trying to do this. The next one is an awesome one. I actually really recommend it, if I can remember the name of it. So this is called Edgy Eggplant. It is a very deep, dark purple. And I have that under my eye today as an accent color. Um, I'm gonna clean my hand really quick. Okay, the next set. This is called, this one is so bright, Dark Mango. It is just intensely orange. So that is Dark Mango. This one is 100% worth it. Loved it. Um, the next one is Canyon Coral. Which is very pretty. It's like an orangey coral color with a lot of sparkle. The next one after that is Raisin Berry. And it's very similar to Canyon Coral. I don't know if you can tell, it just has a little bit more purple in it. I don't think you need both of those. I think you could do one or the other. Um, the next one I have is Cherry Chocolate. This is a favorite of the sparkly ones. It's also similar to the, well, it's actually really different. It's much darker and richer. It's a brown, like a deep burgundy brown. Um, the next one that I have to swatch is Wild Raisin, which is a dark, rich, purpley red brown. And then I have Blackberry, which is a very deep, 
dark matte color that almost looks black, but as you can see, it's got a little bit of a red undertone to it. So that is the first 12, and those are all pretty good. This next set is kind of where I start getting some of the dupes and some of the ones where I will tell you not to get both. So I'm going to start over here with some more neutrals. This first one is Burnished Wine. And that's Burnished Wine. It's got a little bit of a red undertone to it. It's warm, but I don't think of that as a wine color. The next one is Mai Tai, which is a very peachy, pinky champagne taupe. This one I really like. Um, the next one under that is Chocolates here, which is a gorgeous, very dark brown. So I like that one. I don't know if you need the wine one and chocolate here. I'll show you those next to each other. So yeah, there's that and there's chocolate here. So they're pretty similar. So maybe you don't need both. Um, this next one is Deep Roast. A lighter dark brown. I would either pick, if I was going to pick between the two, I would probably pick the Deep Roast instead of the Chocolatier. Um, the next one is a really great transition color that I use a lot, and it's called Oatmeal Tan. Just, yeah, really pretty warm neutral. Um, the color under that is New Terrain. It's like a mid-tone brown. It's a little lighter than the others. But it does look really similar to the other color, which was the Deep Roast. It's just more matte. So I probably wouldn't have gotten both of those if I'd have known they were so close. The next one is Amber Bronze. It's a beautiful color, but it looks a lot like some of the other ones I have. So that's Amber Bronze right there. And then right next to it, I've got a color that's almost identical. And the identical color to Amber Bronze is Chai Spice. So that's the Amber Bronze, that's the Chai Spice. I would probably buy the Chai Spice if I had to choose because I think it has a better color payoff. Um, the next color I'm going into is Mauve, which is like a semi-matte. So it's a true mauve pink. I'm running out of good places to swatch. Let me... Hmm. I'll go for the other, the other arm now. So this is the mauve. It's a semi-matte, like a satin finish pink with a little bit of a gold undertone. Underneath that is the color Cajun Craze, which I have to admit I bought because I'm from Louisiana. But there you go. It's like a peachy, orangey gold with a lot of shimmer. I love this color. I'm wearing a little bit of that today on the lid. Um, the next one is Copper Pot. Now, Copper Pot is very cool. It's totally 100% worth it. Look at that. Bam! That is a strong copper. Um, the next one is another one I love. It's called Oktoberfest. It's a matte, warm, orangey, pumpkin brown, great color. Okay, going up to the next row, I've got Nude. Nude is a beautiful nude color with a little bit of sparkle. So let's see, there's Nude, it's just very neutral. The next one is Victorian Pear. I don't think you need Victorian Pear and Mai Tai. So that's Victorian Pear. And then I'll dip back into Mai Tai. That's Mai Tai. So you see they're very, very similar. So you probably don't need both. 
Um, the next one is a color I use all the time. I've got it on my um, up here brow bone. It's called Chamois Nude. It's just a matte beigey nude. Nothing too exciting, but it gets the job done. Underneath that is Caramel Ice. Now, Caramel Ice and Nude are very similar to each other. So, that is Caramel Ice. That is Nude. Caramel Ice has a little bit more pink. Nude has a little bit more yellow. Just depends on what you would prefer. Um, and then this color is a matte. It's called Pinehurst. And it is a beautiful dark green. The mattes are a little patchy. What I would do is apply a sticky base and then kind of put a um, like flesh tone color or powder over it and then put it on. Um, the next one is Sunflower, which is a beautiful matte, very, very, very yellow color. If you can see that. So that's Sunflower. Um, another one that I bought just because of the name, but it is pretty. This is called Southern Belle. And let me get a clean hand so I can do a clean swatch. So, Southern Belle. Just a yellow, very soft baby doll yellow. And then this is almost the same color, it's just darker. So like I said, you may not need both of these, but this is Bombshell, which is a yellow gold. Okay, moving into my greens. I've got a few more greens. Um, the first one is Balsam. Can you, you can't see anymore. I'm out of places to put things. Let's see, um, we'll do it on my hand. So that's Balsam. It's not beautiful. It's a really strong, pretty green. This next one is Sage Sensation, which is like straight up chartreuse. I love that color, it's very strong. Um, and then I've got Probably the most disappointing matte of them all is Olive. It's a matte. Get a clean, clean finger. They're getting harder to find. So that's Olive. And see, it's just kind of patchy. I don't love that one. Um, this color, however, I do love. This is Dark Golden Olive. Yeah, not pretty. And then this is, what color is this one? This is Cherry Moss. Now this is a duochrome, which is really interesting because Coastal Sense doesn't have a lot of duochromes. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then look, it goes gold, it goes a little green, it goes a little pinky. So yeah, that's a cool one. Um, let's see, this is Green Steel. And yeah, it's pretty. It's like a taupey green. I probably wouldn't have gotten that one because I got some of these other ones. And then last but certainly not least is Golden Avocado. And Golden Avocado we'll put it right here. And it's very gold with just a tiny bit of green. So it's like a bronzy gold. Unfortunately, our light has gone a little cuckoo crazy. Look, I'm disappearing, I'm coming back. But there you go, I hope this was helpful. I hope that this gave you guys some ideas. Like I said, I feel like the Coastal Scents products are amazing. They ship really fast. I have been nothing but impressed by them. So um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.